we do encourage you to take initiative and to uh, work towards uh, building uh, your your DACUM and your performance objectives. And uh, if you followed through our videos and looked at the resources, you should have enough key information to be able to build an effective DACUM. There's one more thing that we would encourage you to do, but again, this is up to you, and that is before you fill out this entire DACUM, before you fill out every single row, we encourage you to fill out your goals and maybe one or two rows just to make sure you're on the right track. Why, why is that important? Well, one of the biggest mistakes that people often make is that they um, had much too much information and they either lose perspective of the fact that your goal is really a verb, an action on a particular subject. So this goal here, create a color wheel. So create is the verb, color wheel is a subject. That's a goal. And when you break down that create the color wheel, well, explaining the color theories is, a, uh, uh, the, sorry, explaining theories of color perception would be uh, the next logical step. Or mixing secondary and tertiary colors would be part of it in creating the color wheel. The dye color sample, so making the samples would be part of it. So all these pieces, these objectives that are also subject and a verb or a verb connected to a subject go into this goal. The important part here is the verb alignment has to be accurate and as you've seen in the literature your verb in your goal has to be at the same level equal to or above all the other verbs in your objective. So create is a higher order verb and explain, mix, die, assemble all fit under that context. If you were to have identify a color wheel and then use explain or mix or you know, assemble. Well, then that would be out of alignment because identification is, is a very, very low order uh, task. So keep that in mind. These are key things that people often make a mistake on or, or, or overlook. So before you spend all your time building everything out, it's up to you, but you have the option to send in a quick snapshot of your goals and one or two lines of your objective just to make sure you're on the right track. A few minutes uh, of my time can save you perhaps many minutes or even hours of frustration uh, of your time. So I'd encourage you before you submit, take a look at this example, the color quilting making example. It's, it's one of the examples on the Moodle site. If your DACUM doesn't look this simple, then you might need to revisit it.